What's up, YouTube? Mr. Octagonal here from Octagonal Gaming. So, even over NBA 2K17 Challenge, 2K18 is right around the corner. The prelude comes out on Friday. So, hopefully, going to be getting prelude content. Not certain, but hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And then, the full game comes out next Friday, but I believe if you pre order it, which I already did because I'm a GOAT, you get it like two or three days early. So, in like a little over a week, we might be having full 2K18 content. Which is really awesome, but my league vote ends this upcoming Sunday, September 10th. So make sure you vote. Link is in the description. So, um, yeah, we have another 2K18 challenge, but I thought, oops, kind of spoiled it. Uh, but I thought of about five minutes ago. It's if what is Gian Giannis onto the Kumbo could shoot. Now, he's not an awful shooter. Like, his three point rating before I changed it was like a 70, which isn't too bad. But, um,. If we look at the best players in the league, there are like six players who are like above and beyond. In no particular order, we have LeBron, the Snake, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Kawhi Leonard, and Steph Curry. I mean, that's what other people say. You could definitely put Boban in there. Um, you could put Scalabrini, even though he's not currently playing. You could put Mr. Josh Swisherson. You could put a bunch of players like that in. Who are showcasing the greatest players of all time video, which we didn't even make it out of the first round. Thanks a lot, Boban. Uh, but after that, after the above and beyond players, seven I have John Wall, and then eight I have Giannis. And Giannis he could easily be better than John Wall. Now there are players you could say who are better than Giannis: Chris Paul, Kyrie, Jimmy Butler, Paul George. Personally, I think Giannis is better than all of them right now, and probably for a while. And Giannis, I think at the end of this year will join the above and beyond group to seven. And who knows, maybe John Wall will too. In five years, that above and beyond group, it could still be, like, if LeBron's still really good, Kawhi's only like 26, 27, so he could still be in there. But we're going to see new faces. Definitely Giannis. Giannis? Giannis does not have a T. Carl Anthony Towns, Embiid, Fultz, Lonzo, Ben Simmons. And three of those players are from the Sixers. That team is scary. So Giannis, with his new shooting stats, I made him all 99s. He's a 99 overall. I mean, plus one, so technically he's a 98. See, 99. 99 everything. The dunks aren't really shooting. So we're going to see how good the Bucks can do and how good Giannis can do. Giannis sometimes wins MVP this season. Normally it's Westbrook or LeBron, but sometimes it's Giannis. I would say he's the third most common. Maybe Durant ahead of him. I think he's going to win MVP with his 99 shooting. I really think Gouli has the same skills, just with insane shooting. And I think the Bucks will lose in five in the championship against the Warriors. There's a solid chance they'd make it anyway, because 2K loves the Bucks. I think they're going to be the one seed. I think they're going to make the championship. And instead of getting swept by the Warriors, I think they're going to lose in five. So let's see how the Bucks can do. Before we go on, someone who could join that all, in like the Beyond team, uh, that six, is Stanley Johnson. Go Pistons. I, uh, I almost said Andre Drummond wins MVP. I wish. Uh, Russell Westbrook wins MVP, not Giannis. Lonzo Rookie of the Year, Rudy Gay, six man. 
Drummond Defensive Player of the Year. Giannis most improved with 26 and a half points, 10 rebounds, 6.3 assists, 61% from the field, and 46% from three. That is like high key insane. He was probably second behind Westbrook in the MVP. Or maybe LeBron, he almost averaged a triple double, but that's 46%. That's almost half of his threes going in. You guys don't get how crazy that is. Westbrook only averaged about 38, which isn't bad. They make he, and he's still and he's a great defender. He may be all defensive first team, even though I didn't even make his defensive stats better. 2.6 blocks, two or 2.6 steals, 2.3 blocks. This dude is going to be ridiculous. So we were the two seed. We were second in our division. I mean, you'd think the Pistons would be that team above us, right? Right? No, I'm just kidding. Sadly, so we got the Hornets in the first round of the playoffs. Led by uh, Kemba. Yeah, this team is just... Okay, we're going to be for butts. We have Nick Stauskas. Okay, we should be good. We should sweep them. Wait, what? We lost two games to Nick Stauskas. That's unbelievable. And now we have the Wizards who uh, added Tyson Chandler. I believe... Did they have, I think they had Jody Meeks. They added Tyson Chandler. Okay. I'm going to say we win in five. Okay, we went in six. Now we got the Cavs. I think we can beat them. LeBron, IT. I forgot they got IT for a second. Kevin Love, Rose, Crowder. I think the IT trade helps them now. And obviously in the future of a draft pick. We just pulled a free on lead. I also noticed the Warriors lost in the first round of the Jazz. We blew a 3-1 lead. The Timberwolves make the finals as the four seed. Shout out to Utah. Shout out to Utah. Did the Timberwolves blow through only two? They might have. Game one, Cavs one. Oh, I thought they blew through only. I was going to say. At least we wouldn't be alone. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me more challenges to do in the comments. Uh, maybe I'll do one or two more challenges for 2K17, and I'm going to do stuff like this for 2K18 as well as rebuilds, uh, my career, the My League series, maybe I'll have some other My League series. I probably want to bring back the online My League at some point. I know you guys really like that. I also wouldn't mind having an online Madden series as well. Tell me in the comments below uh, what we should do for 2K18 and some more challenges we should do for 2K17 or 2K18. That's it for me. Peace out.